Hello there, welcome to the Update YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you an updated list of downloader goods that you can use to install lots of applications to your Android TV, Fire Stick, or TV Box. If you find the video helpful, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more important videos like this. Before we continue, I want to show you this TV box I'm currently using called S5 Max Link TV Box and it's very good with 4K images and 4K videos. Also, it comes with various applications, some basic applications and it has an app store. Now, not all applications are in the app store, so you can also add an other app store if you're interested in more applications. Here are the various applications in these app stores and there are lots of them and they are very nice applications. You can just go ahead and try out. So let's try out one of the applications like my VOD, it gives you uh, videos on demand. Also, there's another application like my TV, it gives you channels that you can watch on your Sling TV box. So these are some, some of the applications in this TV box. This TV box has a 116 gigabyte speed and also it is very, very affordable. If you want to know more, check the description of this video. There is a link that is going to lead you to where you see all the features of this TV box. Now, let's continue. Now, this is my Sling TV box I'm currently using to do this video. But this video process can work on any other Android device except a smart TV. So to start, we are going to start by installing the downloader application to our Android TV box. So to do that is quite simple. On your Android TV box or TV box or Android TV, whatever device you're using, go over to your Google or whatever browser that you have and just search for downloader app. This is, how, this is so easy, installing the downloader app. So you go over to your Google, here's mine, and just quickly search downloader app. Installing downloader is so easy. So as you search that, you're going to see results like this. And this is the downloader app we're looking for. So downloader by AFT News, apps on Google Play Store. So if you click on an Android TV, this is how it's going to look like, or an Android TV box or whatever device you're using, this is how it's going to look like. So just go over here and you click install. And the application is going to be installed to your Android TV or your TV box. So once that is done, just give it a moment. So once the application is done, I can return or I can just check it out from here, but I'll choose to return. So if I return here and I come over to my apps right now, I go over to my apps, you are going to realize downloader is here. So here's the downloader app and here's how downloader looks like once you launch it. So I'm just quickly going to show you how to use downloader. So you can apply this with all the codes I'm going to show you. So to use downloader is simple. All you have to do is you come over to the box here and type in the code you have. So for instance, if I want to install an application like VLC, I just type in this code for VLC, which is. So here's the code for VLC 8116070. And I click go. And this is how downloader works. Once you go over to downloader, just type in any code for whatever application you are searching for and launch. If the code is correct, it's going to go straight away to downloading the APK of that application. Once it's done downloading, you just have to go ahead and install the application to Android TV. So let this one download and I'll show you how to install. Now that it's done downloading, it's going to ask you if you want to install the application to your Android TV or your TV box or Fire Stick, whatever device you're using. Since I already have the application on my TV, it's asking me if I want to update. So what I have to do, just click update and then go ahead and select the file. And that's how to use downloader to install any application that you want to your Android TV box. In the next scene, I'm going to show you the downloader codes you should use. Thank you.